let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name for another opportunity, for another day, Lord. Father, despite all the evils around, all the troubles and tribulations, Lord, you are able and more than able to keep us alive. Father, we bless your holy name. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. We exalt your holy name. We bless you, Father. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for myself. Thank you for the whole world, Lord. Thank you. You are indeed our God. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, as you have brought us together today, Father, we want to see you in our midst. We want your power. We want your presence, Lord. We want your, your word to be revealed. We want our life to be touched. Father, we want a change. We want a, 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 a reformation. Father, we want your newness in our life. We pray, oh Lord, that you reveal thy power in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for that glorious light. We ask for that divine thought. We ask for your presence, the power. Father, we ask, Lord, today for that precious blood of Jesus Christ to be released upon our life, to be given unto us so that we will experience that newness in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I rebuke any evil power, demon, any evil presence, Whatever that has not, I mean, that has come, I mean, whatever that is not of God, whatever that is against the truth, Heavenly Father, I rebuke them. It could be death, it could be demon, it could be devil, it could be enemies, it could be darkness. It could be any, anything that is not of God. Whatever that is tormenting your people, whatever power that is oppressing or suppressing the nation, whatever power, Father, that is at the back of all evils in our life, any evil power, any kingdom that has planned or that is planning an evil father towards us or towards the, 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 the whole earth, we rebuke such a power. We render them powerless. We destroy them in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you, that you reveal your power now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus to sanctify in the name of Jesus Christ. And I soak everybody in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let your power be revealed. Let your glory be given to me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. I give God all the glory today again. I thank God for his mercy, for his grace that endureth forever. And I appreciate everyone on this platform. Thank you for your you know, assistance, your cooperation, every good thing you are doing, Father, for the, I mean, for the progress of this ministry. Thank you for sharing. May God, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, today, I want to ask God as, you know, uh, giving it to me. I want us to talk about um, um, uh, about a topic that God told me to tell you. You know, living in His abundance, living in God's abundance, big beginning of your Lord, living in God's abundance. Yes, living in God's abundance, big beginning of your Lord. And that is why, and that is how I wanted it to be. And that is one of the reasons that he has created you and me as well. You can see that before we were created, he had already he had created even the whole act. God, you know, planned it before we were created. Because he did, he did not want to create us to be in the bush or to just be somewhere else. He had a plan. He had a plan. According to the Bible, 
in the book of Genesis, God had a plan and he has made this plan even before we were formed. So the first day he created, second day, third day, fourth, until the I mean, sixth uh, day that he formed us and he made us to be, he formed us and you know, made us to be in the garden of Eden. Uh, the, the, the comfort zone that God himself prepared for mankind. So he, 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 that is kind of life that he wanted, wanted us to live. So that, 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 that is God's plan. That was his plan for Adam and Eve. So he had made a space, a place, sorry. He had made a place for, uh, I mean, for mankind. The first Adam that was made, that was created, that was formed, God had already prepared a place that is well, that, that, that is well equipped, that is well uh, 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 furnished. Let me put it that way. That means that that is to say everything is being made there for him. And God empowered him, give him strength to, to give them names and it's and himself. And at the end of it, when God realized it would be too much for him to be doing or to be, you know, then God, through him, God now made if a helper to him. Of reason, God was talking to me about Adam and if I could see the plan of God between both of them. So initially, it wasn't the plan of God. He, he didn't initially. He, he did not, you know, created them to be husband and wife. He could have said, "Let me, let me, let me, let me." He could have, God could have said, "Let me." I mean, form a wife. No, but he said a helper. That was what he, he was be before he, he now got to what he was. So if it had been a wife, God could have said it. If he could said a helper, he why wouldn't say. Uh, let me let, let me form you a wife that will be with you. But he didn't say that in the play in the first place. He, he, he said a helper that will be helping him, that will be assisting him in the garden of Eden. You know what I mean? So what they did was they did, I mean, they decided to follow the devil. One, they ignored the doctrine or the word, I mean, the, 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 the word of God. They 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 you know the the the, the precept the the the, the 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 um I mean what God has told them the will of God for them at that particular time they ignored they rather believed the devil than God so they followed devil and they listened they hearkened unto devil's voice and ignored God's voice which God you know I mean did not like at all it's a jealous God one <clears throat> secondly they did what he had told them not to do. That is, that is, that is, you know, that is disobedience. They disobey his, 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 his uh, 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 command. They disobey his command. So, and when God came, it, it wasn't the judgment that first came. God asked, have you done what I asked you not to do? Instead of him to say, oh, yes, I have. I am so sorry. Be merciful. Be merciful. He said, was it not you that started all this problem? Were you not the one that formed me this, 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 this I mean, a demon? You, you, you gave me a woman, the woman deceived me, and the woman said it was devil that deceived me. All was that. But what I'm saying, even in the beginning, God had a good plan, and he wanted us, you and I, to live in his fullness to live in his abundance. He had made it already before you were formed, before I was formed. So the, 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 the abundance of God, what God you know, had planned, what he has given unto us, it was there before we were created. So <clears throat> according to the Bible, uh, let me read, but please, I want you to pray, pray this prayer. It's always good to call upon God in everything that we are, although I, had, I have already prayed, but I want us to pray together. I want you to say, tell God that Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open my heart and my ears, Father, to receive your word and let this word be fully established in me. Rebuke any power that may not let it be established that may not let it go in. Father, rebuke such a power. In that I rebuke such a power, then you pray. Father, open my ears and my heart 
to receive your prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, open our ears and our hearts to hear your word. Open our ears and our hearts to hear your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open, open in the name of Jesus our ears, Father, to hear your word. Open our ears and our hearts, Father, to hear your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Open our ears to hear your word. Open our ears and our hearts to hear your word in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open our ears and our hearts to hear you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. So I want to read the book of Genesis from chapter 1. From verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Verse 3 said, Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light, and God saw the light. God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and darkness night. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, Let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of heaven. I mean, waters of the heaven from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heaven. God called the space sky. And evening passed and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, let the waters burn it. Uh, the sky flow together in, into one place. So dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land and the water ceased. And God saw that it was good. Then God saw, God said, let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed bearing plant and trees and grow seed bearing fruit. This is well then produce the kinds of plants, I mean plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. The land produced vegetation, all sorts of seed bearing plants and trees with seed bearing fruit. Their seed produced plants and trees of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. And evening passed and morning came marking the toddy. Then God said, let light appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the season, days and years, that this light in the sky shine down on the heart. And that is what happened. God made two great light, the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set this light in the sky to light the heart, to govern the day and night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the fourth day. The, then God said, let the water swim with fish and other life. Let skies be filled with birds and every kind. So God created great secrets, creatures and every living thing that uh, the stories and swarms in the water. And every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas and let boss multiply on the earth. And evening passed on and morning came, marking the fifth day. Then God said, Let the heart produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind each stock. Small animals that, that scurry along the ground and weed animals. And I mean, wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings. In our image to be like us, they will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, or the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Um, rain over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, look, I have given you every seed bearing plant throughout half and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky and the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was very good. Evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. That is it. 
So before we were created, God had made a good plan. He had a good plan and he had made a place where he won't, you know, I mean, put you and I. Then I want to go to John chapter one. If I go to John chapter one, I want to read John chapter one. Uh, you and I will see uh, that God knows what he's doing. Um, from verse one, it said, in the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God and the word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him and nothing was created except through him. Look at this. Everything came through the word. There was nothing God made that wasn't through that word or by that word. Everything, that is what we are saying. That is his fullness. Everything you are, in yourself, you were made by the word. Everything you are working for, struggling for, looking for is in that world. You know what I mean? So now what I'm saying is uh, God created every, everything through him and nothing was created except through him. Nothing, even the devil. This devil or darkness, which is a wizard, demons, whatever power it is, even plant and leaves or whatever, even any power, let it be anything. They were, all, they were all made by the word, which is Jesus Christ. They were all made, they were all created. They were all formed, nothing, even water. I remember a long time ago, I went to my, I went to my, um, my forefathers, you know, uh, land, whatever, that belongs to my dad and myself and the family. And there was, and there was, problem and they caught up because that was my first year of because I was left to go to go and take over. Then when I went there, the man that was in charge he reveals to and he was fighting with powers and juju and everything and invited another man. And at that another man, you know, even put on his juju clothes and he was, you know, you know, feeling so, you know, I, I mean he was he thought he had power, he, of which he had power at his own level. And he came and said and someone said Someone asked him, What happened? He said, My power is my power. I said, Which power? Then he said, I've come. I said, Come to whom? So then I told them, God really helped me. God helped me to defeat them. Then, then I asked them the last, the second time I went there, then I asked them, Why do you have to go into the farm again? Then, then I said, I'm taking you to, 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 to my, 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 my place. It's like, as we are going, this powerful man, when we go to that, there was a got a big, there was, uh, uh, as we are going on our way, there was like a canal and we have to, you know, pass through this canal. And this Juju man was talking to the water. I look at them that this has no sense. If you can talk to the water and the water could listen to you, how much more me, a child of God, that has God in me. So he, he, was, he was there before us. So he was talking to the water, to the ground, to whatever. As, as soon as I got there, I said, the heart belongs to the Lord. And the fullness said, I command this ground and you water. You have to listen to me. You must listen to me. Because God has committed everything into my hand. And God, as soon as I command, then I fall, I went straight. Oh, that's everybody come, come, come. I brought, I took that Jew man to, to, my, to my community with all his power. What I'm saying is, because all things is in Jesus Christ. Powers, whatever you may think of, everything was made through him. That is the difference between Jesus and Hydor. Jesus, another prophet. He could be a Muslim leader, whatever it could be, an idol. It could be whatever, any other power in, any, in, 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 in this world. Jesus. That's why you can't compare Jesus because they were not the one that nothing was made through them or by them. They were all made by Jesus before they became whatever they, 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 they had. I mean, they became. You know what I mean? So, but through Jesus Christ, everything, whatever you think of, is made. Everything is made through him. He has said in the beginning with God. God created everything through him. And nothing was created except through him. The word gave, the word gave life to everything that was created. And that's verse 4. And his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. 
the one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came in, he came, the one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone. Before I became a Christian, I was once be, I mean, be, I mean, doing, I mean, following all these two people, worshiping idols. Later, I became a Muslim. When I became a Muslim, we go to mosque, we do this, we do. Not even know that within the people that we are, we say we are, we are in the mosque, we are doing. More, more, many of them, they are witches and wizards. You, you, there is no light to, to discern. There wasn't any light in any religion about Christianity, about, apart from, apart from Jesus, apart from Jesus Christ, apart through Jesus Christ. We, we couldn't see. You won't even know. Even the, the man that, that is leading, maybe he's a wizard. Many of them, some of them, they are, they are good, good leaders in Muslim. I'm not talking about Muslim, even in Christianity. Some people, we call themselves pastor, they are going to, to you know, to, 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 to request for silly power because they want to perform miracles. Are you the miracle? I mean, I mean, are, are you the, uh, 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 um, what do I call it? Are you God? You are not. If God wants to do it, God will teach you what to say. As soon as you say it, God will come down and perform it. You know what I mean? But because they want to show that they are, they will go in the sea, they will go in the firmament, they will go to help some country to go and look for powers, which is evil. You know what I mean? So it is only in Jesus and through Jesus that you could have such a light. The light, the light of God, true light that nothing can be hidden, that nothing can comprehend, that nothing can stop. True light, the light that is in Jesus, nothing, nothing, nothing can stop it. Do you know what I mean? Nothing can stop it. Nothing can be hidden. I mean, in, the, in, in that light. So he said, he came to the very word, first uh, 10. He came in through the very world he created, but the world did not recognize him. He came to his own people and even they rejected him. But to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with a visible birth resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the world became human and made his home among us. You can see the fullness of God. You can see the abundance of, of God ready to dwell with you. But he has come to you and I, but we ignored. We, because we have our own sin. Oh, no, 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 no. I have my own pastor before. No, 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 no. I have my own doctrines before. No, 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 no. I have my own church before. No, 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 no. I have known Jesus. Do you know the children of Abraham that were even telling Jesus that who are you? We know our, our, our forefathers Abraham and we are Abraham's seed. So you can't tell us we are evil. We are devil. They could not listen. They didn't have the spirit of God to discern who is talking to them. They did not know the plan of God at that particular time. They didn't know the purpose of God. They are wise. They are better in their own life. So they, they, they think they know what they are doing. They know more, more than everyone. Who knows more than the spirit of God? If you have the spirit of God, why wouldn't you listen first and listen to the spirit of God in you to know what is happening at that particular time? But they, 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 they refused. They, they, you do know Isaiah 53, that was the first chapter that God gave me after, after I became a Christian. Isaiah chapter, who would believe our report? Because mere looking at it or mere seeing or listening to his story, you will ignore him so that this is not from God. No, 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 this is not from God. That is it. Because you do not have the spirit of God, because you do not know how to listen to God, because you can't make an inquiry from God to know what is happening, what God is doing. So, so the world became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing, unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's ones and Holy Son. John testified about him when he shouted to the crowds. This is the one I was talking about when I said, someone is coming after me. Who is far greater than I, than I am? For he existed long before me. You can imagine. He existed before the head of before kings and power. Anyone on earth or in heaven, he existed before them. You know what I mean? For his abundance, we have all received. Verse 16. From his abundance, we have all received. 
one gracious blessing after another. For the Lord was given through Moses, but God's unfailing love and, and faithfulness came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the unique one, who, who is himself God, is near to the Father's heart. He has revealed God to us. Can imagine. Living in abundance of God is not far from you and I. It is only when we know, and it is only when we agree and we believe and we give ourselves, even, I mean, to that word. Living in, in his abundance. Out of Jesus is vanity. Out of Jesus is troublesome. I mean, his troubles. Out of Jesus is storms, tribulations. Out of Jesus is darkness. Out of Jesus is death. Out of Jesus is, is, is hell fire. But when you are in Jesus Christ, you are in God. When you are in God, you are in his abundance. You are living in his fullness. There is nothing that you could not obtain or that you could not, you could not, you know, acquire in God. That's what I'm saying. I want you to pray, tell God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, empower me today. Father, to see your abundance, to see your fullness, to, 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 receive your, to receive you and receive your fullness, your abundance. And prayer in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, give me such a grace. Give me such a, 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 such a, a power. Give me such a mercy. Father, to receive you, to receive your fullness, to receive your abundance in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me such a grace. 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 Ni oruko den soluwa fun mi ni ori ofe na. Fun mi ni agbara na. Fun mi ni fun mi ni ye na. Ni oruko den soluwa fun mi. Oluwa fun mi. Oluwa fun mi. Oluwa fun mi. Ni oruko den soluwa fun wa. Fun wa ni ori ofe ati agbara. Lati ma gbe nu oro ati o lati nu oro re. To live in your abundance. To live in your abundance. Give us such a grace. Oluwa jo. Olorun jo. Fun wa ni ori ofe na. 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 Ni oruko Jesu Olorun fun wa ni ori ofe na. 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 Olorun fun wa. Father give us such a grace. Give us such a grace. Give us such a grace in the name of Jesus. I want to read the book of, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Colossians. I want to read Colossians chapter one. I want to read first in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Colossians chapter one from, I mean, chapter one verse nineteen. Chapter one verse nineteen. Colossians chapter one verse nineteen. Okay, let me start from verse fifteen. Colossians chapter, uh, yes. Colossians chapter, Colossians chapter one from from verse fifteen. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. Verse uh, 16, for through him, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made He made, it, he made the things we can see and the things we cannot see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was create, created through him and for him. <laughs> he existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. Christ is also the head of the church which is his body, he is the beginning, supreme over all who rise from the dead. So he is first in everything. For God in all his fullness, verse 19, was pleased to live in Christ. And through him, God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. This includes you who are once far away from God. You were his enemies, separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. 
Yet now he has reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ in his physical body. As a result, he has brought you into his own presence and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. But you must continue to believe his truth, I mean, this truth, and stand firmly in it. Don't drift away from the assurance you received. When you heard the good news, the good news has been preached all over the world, and I, Paul, have been appointed as God's servants to proclaim it. In me is the fullness of God. And God himself, you can imagine, and God himself was pleased to live in Christ, verse 19, and through him God reconciled everything to himself. Look at what I'm saying. I, if you ask me, I can tell you. I could remember when I was in the world. We, we, we ran up and down. We're looking for power, looking for this, looking for that. It's not as if we are looking for power to do evil. I was a businessman. What they will first tell you is, this word, if you do not stand firm and, and be a man and look for powers and look for, you can't live there. I don't know how to put that. You know what I mean? So we, we, were, we were doing our business, running up and down, using our money to get power, to get this, to get that, not known. Not know, not know that they are all vanity. Because there was no fullness in them, in idols. What fullness do you want to take or get from idol? What fullness do you want to take from human being? He could, they could be king or power or president or governor or prime minister or whatever. What fullness do they have? What fullness do you think you will find in the sea when you go to the sea to 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 to, to, to I mean to, to to receive power? What fullness in that sea? See, if God could dry the 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 the, 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 the sea, then for the Israelite to pass through, if God could dry that sea, what fullness could you find in the sea? What fullness could you find in the darkness, in the firmament, in principalities and powers, in your in this your I mean. I mean, uh, your, 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 your money or your, I mean, your, your, your riches or whatever you think about, what fullness can you find in a man? There is no, no any power, no any religion that has such a fullness that is in Christ Jesus. God himself was pleased to live in him. And through him, God reconciled us back to our fullness. Who will can it be you and I that we be? How could you, if you cannot beat them, you join them? And then make Jesus didn't come to this world. All of us will be in darkness. And it's not as if the darkness can save, the darkness can help, nothing they can do than to destroy. Let me read John chapter 10 for you. So, what could have been, what could have been our, our solution, our, our empowerment, our salvation, our, our deliverance? Our, our blessing, our eternity, our peace. What could have been our help? Because what they did not have, how could they give it to you? They don't have it. The whole world has no peace. No any powerful, any rich man has peace that like Jesus is talking about. In any religion, you cannot find it. Because they are not God. They are not the creator. They could not give you what they do not have. God has all things because all things were made by him and is in control of all things. And he has given it to his son. So the, the whole world and the, the heaven and earth was made by God, by through Jesus Christ, the word of God. You know what I mean? I want you to know and I want you to get it right. Let me read the book of John for you. I will read the book of John. I want to read the book of John. Let me read chapter 10. Let me read chapter 10. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, chapter 10. He said, the gospel according to uh, uh, St. John chapter 10, verse 10. The chief purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. This is another fashion of Bible, new, 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 uh, NLT, anyway, NLT, NLT. So what I'm saying is, and to, to, I have come that they may have life and that they may have, you can see that fashion that I'm reading on the screen. 
he said. So, but he now says in first, um, first, I am the good, first 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. He had a higher hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him. And he said, Lord, I want you to pray. Tell God, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me today and let your blood. The Bible says, through Jesus Christ, God reconciled us to him, to our fullness, to our glory. So I want you to pray. Father, let your blood, in the name of Jesus Christ, Take me back to my fullness. Let your blood reconcile me back to you. Let your blood reconcile me back, Father, to your fullness, to your glory, to your empowerment. Let your blood, prayer in the name of Jesus, Father, let your blood reconcile me today. Let your blood in the name of Jesus reconcile me back. Let your blood take me back to your glory, to my fullness. In the, to my abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your blood, let your blood reconcile me back. Get here, get it. Mummy, who say like Jarni? Come on, my father, lost him where from me. Come on, my father, lost him where I dare me. Come on, my father, lost him where I love me. Come on, my father, lost him where he ain't perform. Get here, get it. Oluwa, get come on, my father, lost. Get here, get it. Look, 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 just get good at my father. See me on board, see, 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 dare. Orore, egere, uluwa je ko da me pada lo, je ko me pada sibe, je ko mu in Jesus name we are free. I want to pray with you. Let us go to book of Genesis. Book of Genesis. I want to read uh, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 first. Genesis chapter 12. You will see what we are saying. How can you be reconciled? How can you go back to the fullness of God? Now, I want to read Genesis chapter uh, chapter 12. Let me read from verse 1. The Lord has said to Abraham, this is Abraham, that later become the, 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 I mean, God's blessing for the whole earth and heaven. This is how it started. Genesis chapter 12. He said, the Lord has said to Abraham, leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous. And you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and cause those who preach you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham departed. That, that is it. Abraham departed as the Lord had instructed. And Lot went with him. Abraham was 75. This is it. What you don't know is this. That blessing is not far from you. That healing is not far from you. That strength or power that you're looking for is not far from you. That um, uh, whatever, whatever that you're looking for, anything that you want is not far from you. The Bible says the word is with you, just beside you. It's in your mouth. The word... The word which, which, which I'm talking about is the word of God. I told you, I, I, I read it for you that in the beginning. In the beginning, it was only the word. It was God himself. It was, only, it was the spirit. Everything was made by the word, which is Jesus Christ. That was what God did. The word itself, it's Jesus Christ. That word is which is beside you. That was why when he came, he came to die. After he had died, he now became a spirit, descended from heaven to be with us, to be in us, to be, I mean, to stay, I mean, to, to dwell in us. So the word is beside you. The word is the word of God. The word is in your mouth. The word is with you. That fullness, that abundance. So when the word located Abraham, God came to him. You can be here and be blessed. You can never be part of these people with what they are doing and be, and, 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 and be blessed. You need to depart from your sinful, you know, life. You need to live to, to you know, to, 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 to decide to live. I mean, you need to, to, to decide and depart from your sinful life and come closer to me. 
Go with me according to the instruction, according to the word. Do what I want you to do, then you'll be blessed. So that is what, what happened to Abraham. And the Bible says, verse 4, so Abraham departed as the Lord had instructed. Abraham departed as the Lord has instructed. Okay, let me now go to uh, chapter 13. Let me go to chapter 13. The same Genesis, chapter 13. I want to read chapter 13 for you. Genesis chapter 13. Let me read verse 16. Genesis 13, verse 16. Um, okay, let me read from... Let me read from verse uh, 10. Okay, let me read from verse 10. Lord took a long look at the fertile plains of the Jordan, valley in the direction of Zohar. The whole area was well watered everywhere, like the garden of the Lord or the beautiful land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lord chose for himself the whole Jordan Valley to the east of, of them. He went there with his flocks and servants and parted company with his uncle Abraham because he followed Abraham. When God had um, uh, Abraham to depart from his family, from his people, from the, where he was, Lot followed him. So that was why he was able to, 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 to be there with him when he got to where he was going. And Abraham, being a good person, he asked him first to choose what he wants, what he wanted, and he chose the best place. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So... He went there with his flocks and servants and parted company with his uncle Abraham. So 12, so Abraham settled in the land of Canaan and Lot moved his tent to a place near Sodom and settled among the cities of the plain. But the people of this area were extremely wicked and constantly sinned against the Lord. After Lot had gone, the Lord said to Abraham, look, as far as you can see in every direction, north and south, east and west, I'm giving all this land, as I'm giving all this land, as far as you can see to you and your descendants as a permanent possession. And I will give you so many descendants that like the dust of the heart, they, they cannot be counted. Go and walk through the land in every direction for I'm giving it to you. So Abraham moved his camp to Hebron and settled near the oak grove belonging to Mamre. There he built another altar to the Lord after he had departed. Let me read uh, uh, Deuteronomy for you. I want to read Deuteronomy for you. Deuteronomy, I will read uh, chapter 28. You will see the word is always with you. It's beside you. It's, it's just, it's, 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 he has come to dwell, to live with you. If you are able to obey, then you will live in his abundance. You will live in his fullness. He, when we are talking it's about his abundance of fullness, it's all things. Power, blessing, good edge, whatever, whatever your life, needed whatever you what and everything that god made because of you okay let me read um let me read um chapter 28 is this chapter 28 yes i want to read from verse one if you fully obey the lord your god and carefully keep all his commands that i am giving you today the lord your god will set you high above all the nations of the world you will experience all this blessing if you obey the Lord your God. Just obey. He came to his own John chapter 1 verse 12. They did not. They ignored. It's not as if they saw. They, they, the, his word came to them. God, you know, gives, God gives directions. God, God lives. But when it's hard for you, when you know Bible than God, when you do not listen, when you do not, when you don't have Holy Spirit, and you are not ready to listen to the Spirit of God, that is where we have problem. And if it is not in God, then it will be in the devil. If it is not in the light, it will be in the darkness. If it is not in the life, it will be in the death. So there is no way you will abandon or ignore God, and you think you are fine. If, if anybody asks you. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's not you. You will know soon that you are not fine. If it is not light, then it's darkness. If it is not life, then it's death. 
You need to hearken to what God is telling you. You need to listen. You need to obey. When you listen, when you hearken, when you believe, then you are stepping into your greatness. You are stepping into your fullness. You are stepping into your empowerment. You are stepping into your abundance. When you ignore, when you disobey, you are you are you are stepping into the wrong I mean, into the wrong hand. There is nothing you can do. Who, who are you before the devil? Who are you? I yet I yet I want to make sure to want to make sure you need to say it's your Lord. Eh? Devil has no friend. No matter what covenant you make with devil in this your um or court or whatever secret, whatever that you are, you think devil is a friend. Your leader there, you think they are your friends? No. All this that you guys are doing, whatever they must have given to you, they will take it back and destroy you. Is that a friend? Devil is not a friend. Anything you are doing in the darkness is for your own destruction. You may not listen. You think there is power. What power? Even if you have been deceived and you think you are you you are there to receive power, you think they they will deceive you so in you. But it's an image. It's just an. It's not a reality. It's not a real thing. Therefore, it's not a friend. It's not someone you should decide to follow or to agree with. It's a, it's a thief. It's a killer. It's a destroyer. When you come out of the truth, when you departed or you depart from the instruction of God, when you ignore God's instructions, then you are moving into devil's instruction. And that is it. You are formed, created to live in his abundance, to live in his fullness. But when his word came to you, when God speaks, when God speaks to you, when you heard from him, was he not hard for you? Was he a good thing? Are you ready to do it? You are considering many things around you. You don't want to do it. Then devil will not even ask. Devil, devil will force you. It's only God that wants to, that, that we offer you. That we that we offer, he will just offer or prompt or encourage. Devil will not. Devil will come and force you. Devil will he, he will force you, you will do. You yourself, you will do. And at the end of it, you think is, there is anything there? No. At the end of your richness, at the end of that throne that you are, you are pursued with devil, at the end of that marriage that you have done with evil, at the end of that job that you have received, that you have got, that you have that, that, that you have obtained with that tricks or devil, it will be you will later you will later you will later lose everything because devil will take it back and destroy you. Because at that particular time, he knows you are a, you are a thief with him. And what, what, what is the judgment for the thief? Anyway, so he now says, you will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. One, your tongues and your feet will be blessed. Look at your tongue. Look at your tongue. Look back at your tongue. Was it blessed? Yeah, and your fields will be blessed. Look at your field. You yourself, you will know, are you in that fullness or you are in that destruction? No matter what power you think you are. I after one word will come here. Be your one word will I will let go me. Be your bag here. I get down. I want to get. I want to make happy. I want to be your mobile. I want to your mobile. Let's go. Toro one word be. Are you with me? Your feet, your tongue will never be blessed if it is not by Jesus Christ. You may be deceived today. You think you are you are living fine. You will see your hand. Let me read. Your children and your crops will be blessed if you obey. Don't forget that last fast. He said. You will experience all this blessing if only you obey the Lord your God. That idol is your God, is your Lord. That whoever who that I mean rich man, that rich woman that you are following, that does not allow you to live in the world, to I mean to dwell in God, to have the fear of God, whatever that you are you are imitating, anything that you are copying that does that is not, I mean, treating you the right things. That, that is not, you know what I mean? He's evil. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's not your God, it's devil. Then you will, your tongues and your feet will be blessed. Your children and your crops will be blessed. The offspring of your ass and flocks will be blessed. Your fruit baskets and, and bread box will be blessed. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be blessed. Wherever you go. Oba, ko babiti bo kwa la mungwa, mwa ni tobe, mwa ni dodwe. 
if you had been able to hearken unto God before you leave, if you had been able to commit your way into God's house, if you are in God and God lives in you, he said, wherever, he said, wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be blessed. The Lord will conquer your enemies. You can imagine. If you only obey his word, his instruction, it is not true that we fight your head. Do you know, let me tell you something. In reality, in the spirit, devil has power. All these wicked people, they have power. Some people will be carrying this juju. If they try you without juju, you will see that it's working. But if you have Jesus in you, the juju will not overcome. You will just know what they what they had, you know, I, 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 what, I mean, their decision. But you will have power over it. But because you do not have power to fight any means. You do not have power to fight the devil. You do not have power to fight the demon. And that is what the Bible says. The Lord will conquer your enemies. When they attack you, they will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. The Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do and will fill your storehouses with grain. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you if you obey the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. The Lord will establish you as his only people and he, he swore he would do. Then all the nations of the world will see that you are a people claimed by the Lord and they will stand in awe of you. The Lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you, blessing you with many children, num I mean numerous livestock, and abundant crops. The Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich, I mean, trust free in the heavens and, you, and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. If you listen to these commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today, and if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And you will always be on top and never at the ball. You must not run away from any of the commands I am giving you today. Now follow after other gods or uh, and worship them. First to tell, listen, the first that follows it, but if you refuse to listen to the Lord your God and do not obey all the commands and decrees I'm giving you today, all these causes will come and overwhelm you. I don't want to read that today. I'm not talking about this course or whatever courses today. I'm telling you, when you are out of the blessing, you are entering into the courses. Let me now tell you, if you disobey and you refuse to stay in the truth and you move out from light into darkness, tell me which abolish, because you, you run to abolish. You, you run to a, a, a Muslim powerful leader, Afar, wherever. You tell them to be praying, to be praying, to be. There was a guy that came to pray. He said he has gone everywhere, long time ago. Many years ago, he has gone, he has gone, many years ago, I'm saying more than 20, he has gone everywhere, he has prayed, he has used it, he has done this, no, 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 nothing happened. Then I said, what happens to you? He was having problem with one evil spirit woman that she, he was dating. He, he has his wife at home, he was dating, he didn't know that one possessed and that one has power. He was thinking, he was, he thought he was fine, he was doing this. When that one ready to, to, to torture him, they destroy everything about him and his life. You look at him. Then when he was brought to me, he was so scared. Hey, 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 hey. This guy, this really woman has killed uh, one half a child. He has killed one, he has wounded one person. I said, excuse me, listen and listen carefully. Don't be scared when you have, do you know that you have come to see God? Why must you be afraid? Listen, then I gave him the word the Holy Spirit gave to me as we were talking. Then he said, then he said, hey, this, this power, this demon, hey, through that lady, He's always following me. I said, let her follow you where I am. You will see. As we are talking, then there was an evil guy that, 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 that descended and, you know, stand on the, at the back corner where I was in Lagos. Then the dashboard made a, an evil sign. Oh, oh, oh. Then he said, oh, I said, excuse me, wait, you wait here. Then I went outside. I said, you are, you are, you are so silly. Must you come here? I rebuked that demon and, and, and the, the, the board left. Then I came back to this man. Then I told him, I prayed with him. I told, then I asked him when I said, you should come and visit me in my church. He came to Ibada to visit me. Then I asked him, what is really? He confessed his sin, not all. Well, then I said, God will talk to me. As soon as I went to sleep, I said, I will come and wake you up to pray together. When I went to my bedroom, I slept. 
Then the, the, this, the, this evil lady came in my dream. He tried to say this to me, put it. God, I mean, she put it. God, I mean, over, I mean, helped me. Then he said, why do you want to, why do you want to deliver him? I said, God asked me to. Then he said, how could you? Because he has not confessed all his sin. Then I said, how do you know? He said, because then this demon was telling me through that lady what this man had done wrong to her, that the man himself refused to confess. Then I, I then he she told me everything. I woke up, I went to the man, I knocked it. I said, come out. He was in my flat. I said, come out, let's pray. Then I said, was there anything that you, that you have not even confessed? He said, no, daddy, I've told you everything. I said, okay. Then that your, uh, girl, that your demon lady came to me in my dream. And she told me that you did, you are butted for her nine times. Did you tell me this? And now that is why you are causing problem for the pastor that was praying with you because you refuse to, to, to you know, you refuse to confess all your sins. How can you be delivered? And that is why she was having power to attack the powers and alpha. The, the, the lady killed one of these alpha children and the alpha told this man, don't come to me anymore. This demon that was following you was too powerful. Then, then I told her, why wouldn't she? Because it was a son that came to me in my dream and told me, why do you want to deliver? I said, God sent me. But he didn't, he has not, he has, he has not confessed all his sin. I said, what do you know? Then he, she told me what this man did not tell me. Then I said, why wouldn't you be, why wouldn't you say the truth? You know what I mean? Then she said, oh, it's true. It's, then I prayed with them. We fasted, we prayed for three times. God delivered him. And I asked him to go back to Lagos and start his business. He went there and he started and he was blessed. If you confess your truth, if you decide, if you want to come out of your troubles, your, 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 your tribulations, your sickness, your disease, your poverty, your barrenness, your loneliness, whatever is your trouble, if you decide to come out of it, then you confess your sin. You come out of the darkness to the light. You come out of the dead. You, you will come out of, from, I mean, of, from the dead to, 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 to the life of Jesus Christ. Then I pray, then God delivered. He became a Christian instantly. He could see the, I mean, the, 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 I mean, the power of God. What I'm saying is, if you do not obey what he has commanded you, what he has revealed to you, what he has told you, if you do not listen to the spirit of God, you are only always reading, reading the Bible without listening to this. How would you understand what you are reading? When God speaks to you as a child and you are saying, no, no, I don't know. I think it's the devil. So you, do, you don't know your father. You don't know his voice. You don't know him. You don't know. You can't decide. You can't recognize your God. Whatever he's telling you, you must do. If you refuse to do, then you are out of his fullness. You are in, you are, you are in your poverty. You are in your, in your death. You are, you are on your own. You are in your darkness. Darkness cover. The Bible says gross darkness cover the whole earth. There is no Nepal light. Know this light that can expose such a darkness or stop them. They, it, it was, it, 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 it was a, a, a thick darkness. And that is what is happening on earth in the old world. You could see the traces of the darkness, even on the government, even on the nation, in everywhere. Darkness is controlling everything, every power. On, on, just about few that knows God. Only few that knows God, he could not. But we are suffering from it because majority, majority carry the fault. Living in his fullness, living in his abundance, abundance, meaning power, blessing, strength, peace. In the, I mean, in his light, the nation, the country, the whole world, they are formed or created to be, to be, to, to I mean, to live in God. To live in his, in, in his instruction. And we are the major cause of all this evil. The, it wasn't the land that, 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 that offended God. The land was, the ground was caused by, by, by God through, I mean, because of our sin. Everything, they were all caused because of our sin to God in Genesis chapter 3. You know what I mean? If the head, if the owner, if God represents it, God image as you and I. If we know God, if we are in God's instruction, if we are following God's footsteps, everything will turn around to be good. There will not be any evil. Devil will not even have power over you and I. Pray this prayer. Father, be merciful. Show me your mercy today. Father, to live in your abundance. 
ki le ma gbe ninu opo re ninu opo agbara opo oro opo gbon opo wo opo iye opo opo ami ki le ma gbe ninu opo eri olorun ni oruko jesu saanu fun mi loni fun mi ni oru ofa lati ma gbe ninu opo e be merciful to me give me such a grace to live in your abundance in the name of jesus father be merciful to me give me such a grace to live in your abundance give me such a power to live in your abundance give me such a grace in the name of jesus give me such a grace give me such a power to live in your abundance 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 to live in your fullness to live in your abundance give me such a grace lord give me such a power lord give me oh lord give me oh lord in the name of jesus give me oh lord give me oh lord in jesus name we have prayed i want you to pray to god father in the mighty name of jesus christ let your power that your power that your spirit let it i mean because his, his fullness it dwells in him that is why jesus dwells in god and god dwells in jesus that's the secret of power secret of life secret of blessing secret, secret of eternity secret of peace if god dwells in you devil cannot dwell in you if devil dwells in you that means you have chosen to to to, to stay with the devil devil is your choice so it will be there god cannot change that devil because you have chosen to be with the devil but if you re, if if you if you if you if you you know uh, 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 um if you um reject the devil and you I, 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 I allow or ask God to come sin. You choose God and you you reject the devil. That devil will go. As soon as the devil is going out, your, your problems are going out. Tell God, let that your power, your power of abundance, your power of fullness, your power, that Holy Spirit, that Spirit of God, let it dwell in me, richly to be. Let your word dwell in me. Let your power, prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your, your, your word, your power dwell in me. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit dwell in me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let your spirit dwell in me. Let your word dwell in me. Let your words dwell in me. Let your spirit dwell in me. Let your spirit dwell in me. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit dwell in me. Let your word dwell in me. Let your words and your spirit dwell in me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let your power dwell in me. Let your power dwell in me. Let your spirit dwell in me. Let your word dwell in me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Tell God, give me grace. Give me such a grace to obey your instruction, to dwell in your word. Give me such a grace. Give me hello, me only boy, Joe, but it boy, Kaye, Le Bajen, Esophon, Lord. Give me prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, give me such a grace. Give me such a grace to obey your word. To obey your word. Give me such a grace, Lord. Give me such a grace to obey your word. Give me such a grace. Give me such a grace. Give me such a grace to obey your word. Give me such a grace, Lord. In the name of Jesus, give me such a grace. Give me such a power to obey your word. To obey your word. To receive your word. To dwell in your word. Give me such a praise. I mean, such a grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, give me, give me, oh Lord, give me such a grace, give me such a grace, give me such a grace. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let me read this one and just finish and pray with you. I want to read uh, uh, Matthew chapter 13. I want to read Matthew chapter 13. So let me read, um, pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, let me know. Because some people, they don't know, they'll be comparing God with idol or with any powerful or any rich man, because you don't know. They don't have that, they don't have all, all powers, all things is in Jesus Christ. Let me know your fullness. Let me empower us in everything. Let me pray in the name of Jesus. Father, let me know your fullness. Let me know your fullness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let me know your fullness. Let me know your fullness. Let me know your fullness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want to read Matthew for you. Matthew from chapter, I mean, chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13, I want to read. Let me read from verse 10. Is that, his disciples came and asked him, why do you, Matthew chapter 13 from verse 10. His disciples came and asked him, why do you use parables when you talk to the poor people? He replied, you, permit, you are permitted to understand the secret of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not. To those who listen to my teaching, 
more understanding will be given. And then we have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. That is why I use these parables. You can imagine. If you do not have the word of God, the little that you think you have will still be taken. If you have devil instead of having Jesus, if you have the word instead of the word of God, you have this word, this, 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 this evil word in you, rather than having the word of God. You, you are copying the word, you are following the word. Instead of you to have the word of God, which is the spirit and life and Jesus Christ, then the, the little you think, you, the, God, the Bible, I mean, calls it little. All things that you think you have is little because it can be taken within the temple of an eye. So it's, it's little. It's, it will still be taken away from you. Now it's now said, um, for they look but don't re really see. They hear but they don't really listen or understand. This false prophecy of Asad that says, when you hear what I say, you will not understand. When you see what I do, you will not comprehend. For the heart of these peoples are hardened, and their ears are not here, and they have closed their eyes. So their eyes cannot see, and their ears cannot hear, and their heart cannot understand, and they cannot turn to me and let me heal them. You can imagine. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. I tell you the truth, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but they, they, they didn't see it. And they longed to hear what you hear, but they did not hear it. Now listen to the explanation of the parable about the farmer planting seeds. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message about the kingdom and don't understand. That is the one that fell into uh, that fell on the footpath. You can imagine. Then, then the evil one comes and snatches away the seed that was planted in their heart because he fell on the path. It, 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 it did not fell in their heart. If you do not receive with your heart, if you will receive with your head, with your hand, devil will come and take it. Because you, some people will be in the church or listen to, they will still be looking at, I don't have time, I have this. Because devil wants you to fail on, on, on the path, not in your heart, because he will, he will come and steal it. Then if one comes and snatches away the seed that was planted in their heart, the seed on the rocky soil represent those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep root. They don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. They see that, you can imagine, one of my daughter was to call, call me today and was telling me, uh, Daddy, I went somewhere, they told me this, that there was a pastor that was causing me. And the way she was talking, I could see she was confused, she was not happy. She was, uh, she was even thinking, maybe she wanted to stop going to church or whatever. Then I, I, then I had to, Think about it and do whatever you think is pleased with you. But I, I'm asking, is that person, that person, is he Jesus? Mm. So if you know Jesus that is powerful than him, why must you be, why do you have to fear? Why do you have to, to fear? But because the Bible says they will, they, the persecution will come. They have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. Because you are doing good, because you believe the word of God, they will persecute you. They will fight you. They will cause you. But God will cause them back. God will fight them back. God will persecute them and destroy them. Must you be scared of devil? Must you be scared of death? Let them do their worst. You should know that God will deliver you. God will heal you. God will, will help you. God will destroy them. Must you be scared? Then, because for the fact that you are doing the right thing, they will persecute you. Anyway, they fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's words. So I tell him, I tell her, don't, don't let devil approach you or chase you out. You do not, you should not fall away. That's what they wanted to have. What, what, whoever told you or whatever you, that is what they want. To, I mean, what they wanted, what they, uh, 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 they were saying that so that you will be scared. That is what they wanted. Now, he said, the seed that fell among the tongues represent those who hear God's word. But all too quickly, the, but all too quickly, the message is crowded. How? By the worries of this life and the love of wealth. So no fruit is pro produced. The seed that fell on good soil represent those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. If the word goes into your right heart, falling on the good soil of your heart, it will germinate. 
when it's strong, when it comes up, it will now produce more and more. No devil will come. What the devil could do is not let the world or the seed to fall into your heart and stay there. Whatever comes to your way, let it be persecution, tribulations, problems, disease, or death. Do not let it uproot or remove the word that you have had. You have to fight for your faith. Fight it. You don't have to agree with the devil. If you do not live, they won't take it. If you do not give, they won't take it. You disagree to die. You disagree to live. You disagree to compromise. You disagree to do evil. You stay in the world. Remain. Dwell in there. Then your God will come. He will judge them and destroy them and empower you. Set you above their power. That was what he did to Jesus. It was tough. It was hard. But Jesus endured. To the end, he surrendered himself, he gave himself up to the truth, even to the point of death. And God, God raised him up, God exalted him, God empowered him, give him a name that is above all things. His fullness, Jesus was able to go back to that fullness. He came to there was a day I was asking God, Why must he even why did we come to this world of this? And God told me, if Jesus had not come to the world, will Jesus be able to acquire what he acquired? Will he be able to be, to be given? It was the word, the name that was given to him above all names that we should ask and pray in the name of Jesus in heaven and on earth. He was even said above all things. Will, will Jesus be given if he had not gone through whatever he had gone through? The will of God is not easy, but we should ask for the grace of God to do it, to dwell in me, to, 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 to you know, to, 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 to act it on to it, to, to, to surrender ourselves, then you will now see God in action, to destroy your enemy, to destroy that death, to destroy the darkness, all these witches and wizards, all the darkness, all these evil people that are dominating the world, God will come and destroy them because of you. But there is no one that God can see that is, that is ready to endure, to endure. To stay, to dwell, to to you know, to to suffer, to die first, to be persecuted. There, there is no one. All everything wants is a miracle, blessing, blessing on top there of everything, a power, healing, whatever. They do. They are not ready to suffer for Christ. They are not ready to endure. They are not ready <clears throat> to abide with the truth. Whenever. We, 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 if there is persecution or problems or death or disease or whatever, people will run and look for any other means or any other solution. Excuse me. You need to know whom you are dealing with. You need to agree with the word. You need to allow this word to come in charge. The spirit of God is talking to someone now. He is reminding you of what you are doing that is not right. And he wants you to agree with him that you want to stop being that evil now. You want to stop that sin. That you are committing. You want to stop. The, the, the devil is talking to you. Flesh is talking to you as well. But the spirit of God is trying to convince you. If you are able to listen to this spirit of truth now, you will see yourself being delivered. In the name of Jesus. You are struggling. You are still thinking. But God has come. He has come to his own. I pray that you will receive it. You will not ignore or reject it. And you will have him. He has come to dwell. Oh, oh my God. Your, your strength has come to dwell with you. Your power has come. Jesus has come with his blessing. He has come with his fullness. He has come with his healing. He has come with his plan. He has come to empower you. Will you be able to listen? Will you be able to repent? Are you ready to follow him? Do you want to abandon the past? Do you want to... Do you? Do, uh, do you, do you want a new life? Do you want the life of God? The Bible says, whoever believes in our name shall never be judged. And he has, he has passed, I mean, through death to life. And he will see the glory of God. Are you ready? I want you to pray. I do not have any time anymore. The fullness is in God. The abundance is in God, which is in his word, which is in his Holy Spirit, which is in Christ Jesus, the hope of your glory, your strength, your righteousness, your salvation, your empowerment, your, 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 your justification, your redemption, your, 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 your future, your eternity. He has come. Can you imagine what God has done? God has broke. Oh, my God. You will, I didn't know who it's going to be. 
but you will see, you will see, you will see, you, you will receive a, 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 I mean, you will, you will, you will, God will visit you. God will visit, God has, bro, I can see a place being broken because God wants to take you up. God wants to deliver you. God has come to fight for you. God has come to deliver you, to heal you and to bless you. Pray the last prayer. Tell God, Father, let me receive your grace for my for my for, for, for my breakthrough. Let me receive your grace today for my empowerment, for my blessing, for my for my salvation. Let me receive your grace for my fulfillment, for my for 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 for, for, for my victory. Pray for the oh, thank you. God is doing it already. Father, let me receive your grace. Jesus, let me receive your grace for my salvation, for my perfection, for my empowerment, for my healing. Let me receive your grace, Father, to live a godly life. Let me receive your grace, Father, in the name of Jesus, to dwell in you forever, to dwell, to have your, your fear, to have you in me, to have your power to overcome the enemies. Father, to be able to preach the gospel as you have sent me to the world. In the name of Jesus, Grace, grace that will see me through. Grace that will help me, empower me to endure till the end. Grace that will teach me more. Grace that will take me to heaven. Grace that will carefully, that will carefully support me. Grace that will go before me. Grace that will destroy the enemies. Grace that will heal me and heal my people. Let the grace be given to the whole world. Father, to come out of these tribulations and storms and deliver us from the, all the evil leaders and deliver even in in, in religion, Father, we want your grace to deliver us from all evil pastors and all evil Muslim leaders and all evil idol worshippers. We ask for the grace of God that we that we forgive us of all our sins and deliver our nation, deliver our country, deliver our world. Let your grace visit hospitals. Let your grace visit prison. Let your grace visit everywhere and deliver your people. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. I saw an angel that I've never that I don't I won't say I've never seen. I don't know. I've seen a lot about angels. But this one I saw because of where he was going. If you could see the foot, well, there, there is something under his foot. It is his foot is not touching the floor. Something is under his foot and it's going fast to that darkness place. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone. I want to. I want you to lay your hands upon your head. I'm talking to you and I'm praying with you. I'm praying for you. I ask God that talk to me when you are not there. God that took me to heaven to see and He asked me, "Did you see? Have you ever seen anyone that is higher?" I said, "Your head is even reaching. Your head is 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 reaching the you know the 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 the, the, the roof. The, so there is no anybody that can be taller than you here." God of heaven and earth, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, Jesus that I know, he who saw himself to me on, on the cross, and, I, and he was beaten, he was about to die, and he said, Father, forgive them because they didn't know what they are doing. Then I said, they knew, if they didn't know, why wouldn't they be beating themselves? He said, I have brought you to witness my death and my resurrection, so that whoever comes to you, you will, you will tell them that I have died for their sin. Whoever believes in your testimony, will I deliver? Should I deliver? And I will, and and you will, you show yourself to me when you resurrected on the third days. I saw your death and your resurrection, and you have, and that is my gospel. And you have told me to preach this to the nations, to the world, to every world. Father, when they were not there, the word was given to me. When they were not there, the promise was given to me. When they were not there, Jesus, you reveal yourself. I saw you. And you showed me all this to show them. You give me, you gave me all this to give them. Father, I am giving your word and they have taken it. I pray, Lord, that you come down and reveal yourself to them. In the name of Jesus, let them know your abundance. Let them know your fullness. Let them know your power. Let them see the difference. You told me that you want to show me the difference between you as my creator and others that I, I believe that I, I was following them. The, the idol, uh, idol worshiper, the, 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 the idol leaders, whoever, those that I think that they were God. Because whenever I thought of them that one day they would die, where will I be? That means you have seen my heart, even when I was thinking, while I was having them, when you reveal yourself to me. You told me one of the, the, the I mean, the, the, the most powerful word. You told me his name, and you told me I am your creator. I will show you the difference between me and that one that you call a powerful one. 
I will let you know, go to his house. You will meet him on the floor. And I saw him, as God said, he was on his, he was, he was sick. He was on the sick bed. And I could see that I was saying, so this man can be like this. This powerful man, because God, you saw me the difference between God and between creator and uh, between creator and creatures. Father, you, you, I want you to show it to them. Let them know, let them see how great, powerful, how glorious, lovely, how good you are. Father, let your power be revealed unto them. Let your glory be given unto them. Let your light shine upon them. Let the darkness of their life be furnished. Let the demon that has been delegated for their torment be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the death that has been given or delegated to their destruction, let them be captured in the name of Jesus. I command the light of God to be revealed upon every one of you in the name of Jesus. I pray and ask for, I ask from God the grace of God for, 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 for new strength, for new, for new faith, for new wisdom, for all of you in the name of Jesus. You shall never remain in your darkness or your problem. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you. My God will bless you, empower you, and heal you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for what you have done. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for your manifestation. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for your blessing. Thank you for what you have done today. In Jesus' name, we are free. Bless them and empower them. Let their oil of water, let it be empowered. Sanctified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you again for coming on the platform. Thank you for being there always. May God bless you. I will see you next week by God's grace if Jesus starts to come and if, if Jesus gives us another opportunity. It is well with you. Please share in the name of Jesus. God will bless you. It is well with you. Thank you and thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.